Afternoon everyone. I'm off out now. Just about to leave home. Got a different mode of transport today though. And oh before I go any further, I'm nearly on 50,000 views. I think I've got 400, 300 left. Nearly on 900 subscribers. As soon as we hit them two landmarks in the next few, I'm sure it'll be the next few days, this go find 66, a couple of hundred quid's worth will be going into a drawer. As soon as I hit them landmarks, there'll be a small short video saying big prize giveaway. Uh, keep an eye out for that video and the instructions will be in there to win this machine. So yeah, good luck everyone. Just going to pop that there. And here's my mode of transport today. Got the Equinox and all my kit in here. So it's, it's quite... Um, an agile machine, I'll show you how to put it all together when I get there. Just pop that one in there. And there's my push bike with my black adder spade on. So yeah, I'm going to get on with it. And um, as you will see in the video in a minute, I'll have the harness on and I'll be going down a hill, hopefully very fast. See you in a bit. Right, we're here. As you can see, I stopped at the shop, so I've got my olives, chicken mayo, sarni, and a can of energy, and one front way home as well. Bikes here. Just going to take the, cut the spade off, have a bit of lunch, and then I'll show you how to quickly set up the machine and how easy it is to how to do it. So yeah, see you in a minute. All right, guys. As you can see, this is how I travelled it all in the rucksack. There's my spade that was attached to the bike and I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up. Hopefully that can be quick. <laughs> right, so we've got this here. That. Goes. One, two. That. It will be easier for other people to do this because I've got actually got uh, covers on mine. So that does hinder the speed of doing it and basically clip the top uh, top bit on bottom bit in the hut you've got five different holes or four and you pick the one that's to your arm length here and basically screw that on there like that mine's the second one up that's me part of the other thing this bit goes on here like so Tighten your cam lock, pull that up. Um, I've got to remember which uh, which one I have this on now. Oh, why that's oh, there we go. I did it on wrong. Uh, um, what do I have it on now? I'm trying to remember which one I have it on now. Let me just check. Um, Fine. Same again, tighten your cam lock, undo your velcro, pop that down over that like that, cable up like so, and put that into the coil, into the control box, sorry. And there we go, that's pretty much that set up. What did I do with a little bit of there. These covers come from Lucky Covers, cracking a little addition. If you have a look, mine's actually got my own name on the bottom. Yeah, and that's it, set up, ready to go. Um, I'm just going to get it all tightened up and everything, and um, we will, I'll show you quickly how I'm setting it up. Alright, see you in a minute. Right guys, I just dug a signal here, and it was giving me a bit of an iron signal. But I dug it anyway, because I was trying to prove a point that I've got feasting on zero, and um, yeah. So anyway, I dug the signal, it was giving me 13, 14, 15, and there was actually iron in the hole. 
So anyway, I, I, I dug this thing, I, I pulled I pulled the iron out and underneath it there was another signal and I believe, if you can look on the back, it has actually got some parts of iron in it. So that was that, that's what was giving that dodgy signal. But if you look, it is a it's part of a cracking old buckle, look at it. Look at that. Now I wouldn't have dug that, but I did dig it, so there we go. That's the first signal of the day, and it's not a bad signal at all. It's got a little star there. Yeah, proper chuff with that. Yeah, see you in a bit. So, first decent find of the night. A little thimble. It's a little bit crushed, but there we go. See what Rachel can find in a bit. See you in a bit. Alright guys, I just had a cracking signal here, 15, 16 down here, about 4 or 5 inches down, and I got this. And if you can look, it's got all the old marks and lines of an old item. It really looks old. Green patina, don't know what it is. If anybody can help me with that, give us a shout. Cheers, see you in a bit. Got a cracking signal here. 15, 16 in the hole, and look at that, look at the detail on that. Don't know what it is yet again, but looks old. Detail, looks good. If anybody can help me with that. Yeah, turned out to be a good evening. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, I've got the first bit of Ryan, I think. It's reading. 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, sounds really sweet, but then you go to another angle, and as you can hear, let me just put my speaker up so you can hear it, hang on, from the other angle, now that to me is definitely iron, so let's dig it together. It's really deceiving because it's, it sounds really sweet from one angle, but then if you switch 90 degrees, you get the uh, rubbish side of it, and that means generally it's iron. I won't dig it anywhere in this normally, but let's dig it now. Right, I can see the colour at that. You ready? And there we have it. Piece of iron. And that's how I identify iron. Yeah? See ya. Got a cracking signal here at 22 23. And I am chuffed a bit. This has made my night. Look at that beauty. Look at that. And it's got the pin in the hole as well. I've got that in my pocket. Oh, won't drop it. Look at that, memory night. I'll get a picture of that and get a good clean up. See you in a bit. Right, I believe that Fiesen, uh, the, the Fiesen, I'm thinking about the Quest machine huh? I believe the uh, iron bias on this uh, knocks. I reckon if you do have it high, um, you will miss signals because I've just dug this here and it gave me loads of difference that it was giving me. 13, 15, 17, and I was a bit, hmm, do I dig it? And now I dig, dug it, and sadly, I don't know whether I've done it digging it, or whether I think it, but it's a button, but I love a good button, and this has got absolutely cracking detail on it. But sadly, it's uh, been split up. I'm thinking that it was already bust, because I was getting different signals all around the same hole, so yeah. Well, it's a bit of a shame really because that's a really nice signal, uh, really nice detail button and I love a button. Oh well, we'll keep going. 
So I'm videoing here, doing metal detecting, and Rachel gets bloody pims delivered into the field. Look at her! Even the dog wants some. <laughs> I've got bloody pims in the field and cheese and crackers. <laughs> yeah. Rachel Powell is crackers. <laughs> Anybody want insurance? We've got a meerkat here. <laughs> so, mate, I'm not having greatest of days, but I just got a signal of 20 here down in the hole, and I think this probably has made me day. Shame it hasn't still got the shank. Like I said earlier, I do like collecting my buttons, but this one's an absolute cracker. It's still got all the. Um, gold gilt on it. Look at that. That's a cracker. Yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with that. I ain't had any coins yet. I've uh, up my iron bias back up to free because I'm psychologically um, mind wrecking myself now, thinking that it's something to do with uh, the iron bias. Probably it, it isn't, but it's just... Anyway, we'll see how we keep going. Hopefully I'll get a coin before long. Right, another permission now. Rachel's there. Let's hope we find something good. See you in a bit. Right, I just dug a signal here. I've covered it up now because I've just joined Rachel and look at that. I am absolutely buzzing. Meadow lead. Don't know how old it is, but that's a cracking find. Let's keep going. The storms are looming, guys. I've just had a cracking signal here and I'm just trying to clear off some of dirt. Some kind of ornament piece. Look at that beauty. Some detail on that. If anybody can help me with that. It is a bit hollow so... Yeah, but anyway, I'll take that. See you in a bit. First coin of the day and what a relief. Only about 3-4 inches down, but it is 1917. George half penny I believe but that'll do me I've been dying for a coin all day I've got it I don't know how old it is but it is gorgeous I've just dug a signal here uh, it was reading what was it reading 1415 and look at the detail on that it's a serpent's head I don't I don't think it's mega old well, but I may be wrong, no, it's not mega old, but look at that, look at the detail on it. That is absolutely stunning. Like I said, don't know what it is, but that is, I nearly swore, that is beautiful. I am chuffed to bits with that. Get in there, that's a cracker. Rachel's down there, hopefully she's finding as good a stuff as I am. Get in, come on. And so the plot thickens. So I just covered the hole again, and to cover my back, I, I re-checked uh, the hole, and I got another signal. And it was this. So, with that little piece on the top of that, oh, it's rain's coming down now. Can't believe it. Here it is, that's what it's part of. So, if anybody can help me with that, look at that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Don't know what it is, but yeah. I'll take that all day. That's a cracker. We'll keep going while it's raining. Oh, 